Alright, so in this video we're going to be fixing an oil leak on uh, your first generation cruise. There's no surprise here. So the oil leak is coming from the oil cooler down there. So if you see your exhaust manifold um, all wet and oily, that's where it's coming from. Or uh, if there's any smoke coming out of your um, engine bay when you've been driving up a while or if you smell uh, burning oil that's because the oil cooler is leaking onto the exhaust manifold and that's where the burning smell is coming from so we're gonna go ahead and replace the whole oil cooler assembly with the filter and the housing so stay tuned okay for the, so the first step is we're gonna separate the flex pipe from the catalytic converter so these are 13 mil um, the original ones are 12 I believe but if you have them changed out like mine, mine are 13, so we'll go ahead and remove those. Alright, so we're going to need to remove the exhaust manifold with the catalytic converter. So we're going to go ahead and clear some stuff up here so we're going to disconnect the O2 sensor and we're going to remove the uh, bracket for the O2 sensor the bracket for the oil dipstick and this bracket over here they're all E12 alright you could just swing the oil dipstick out of the way like this and you could remove the uh, heat shield. Uh, there's two bolts on the bottom for the heat shield, but mine just rusted out. So um, if yours is still there, these are also E12, so make sure you take them out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and remove uh, nine bolts for the exhaust manifold. They're uh, 10 mil. And you could just leave the O2 as is, you don't need to take it off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, sometimes when you go ahead to remove the 10 mil, the exhaust stud comes out with it. That's fine. So uh, we're just going to install it with the stud anyway. Now we can go ahead and remove the oh, uh, the calorie converter and the exhaust manifold. Okay, uh, just take your time, it's kind of a tight fit, but you can manage to take it out. Uh, and before you take it out, there's actually two bolts that you have to get from underneath. This, and this one here. But mine's an aftermarket cat, and uh, the bolts never lined up with the bracket on the bottom. So if you still have your uh, original catalytic converter, there's two bolts there. They're uh, E14, make sure you take them out. And before you start removing anything, uh, go ahead and cover your uh, flex plate with a bag, um, just so we uh, make sure there's no coolant that's gonna drop in there or oil. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take off this uh, upper uh, radiator hose that goes to the thermostat. So put a drain bucket below, because all the coolant's gonna come out now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and just tuck this hose to the side here. You 
could put it between the, this bracket here just so it won't get in our way. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the two E10 bolts that's holding this uh, coolant hose here. Okay, now you could pull out this hose from the oil cooler here. All right, it's just an O-ring holding it, so you're gonna have to pull. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and remove two E10 bolts that are holding this uh, coolant hose. All right, to remove the oil cooler now, there's five E12 bolts, so we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Okay, and the last bolt is behind this uh, oil filter housing. Okay, now it's ready to come out. Okay, there's one more uh, coolant hose that we have to take off. It's this one here. So just wiggle it and pull out. So make sure there's no gaskets left behind. Uh, in this case, some of them stuck to the block. So we're gonna go ahead and remove them. There's one here and then there's one here. Okay, so this is the old one. Uh, I'm gonna re be replacing all these hoses, one, two, and three. Uh, I'll put all the uh, part numbers in the description below. Um, it's better to just change them, because uh, uh, I wouldn't want them to crack in the future if I just reuse the old one. So I'm just gonna re change everything. Um, this is the actual oil cooler. You could actually just get this piece uh, with all the gaskets uh, here and here, but I'm gonna change the whole assembly. And as you could tell, it was leaking all from the bottom here. All right, so here are the three hoses that we're gonna be changing. One, two, and three. Uh, I'm gonna be putting a link in the description below uh, where you could get uh, all these with all the part numbers. And it is an affiliate link, so uh, I uh, would appreciate if you guys uh, would use it and help me make a uh, small commission. Okay, and if you're not changing the hoses, um, on the old ones, I do recommend to change the O-rings, but uh, it's going to be hard to find the exact exact part numbers for all the O-rings. Um, this one and this one has two of them. One here and then the one in the back here. So I'm not sure if uh, regular O-rings would fit on these if you have like the uh, universal kit or you need specific o-rings so that's why I, I didn't bother I'll just get like the new hoses and they'll have uh, brand new o-rings on it it is a bit more expensive but you won't have to worry about any of these uh, cracking or breaking in the future since they're brand new okay and this is the new oil cooler the whole assembly with the oil cooler in the back here it comes with 
two gaskets on the side here but there's no oil filter there's only the oil filter cap so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the old one off the uh, old oil cooler and we're gonna put it in here so if you're due for an oil change you could actually uh, drain the oil and change out the uh, um, the oil filter and put a new one in there but mine's at 50% oil life so I'm just gonna reuse the old one for now and if you're, you are reusing the old one uh, make sure you take it off um, when the oil cooler is still on the car it's gonna give you more uh, leverage to break this free I'm actually gonna use an impact gun just to release it so for the oil filter cap it's a uh, 24 millimeter socket Okay, before we put the new one in, we're just going to go ahead and clean um, two mating surfaces. This one there, and this one right here. And also the one in there for the uh, coolant line. The hole there. So we're just going to use some Scotch-Brite and then we'll clean it off with some brake cleaner. And don't forget this surface over here. Okay, now we're going to start putting the hoses uh, on the oil cooler. And then we're going to bolt it to the block. But first, let's put some grease on the O-rings. Um, this is just dielectric grease. Uh, the same you use for the guide pins, the brick guide pins. So I'm just going to put a bit on. Alright, so for the small hose, uh, we're going to take off the bolt here on the new one. And then we're going to insert it like this. And then the bolt could go through it. With the curve away from the block, so like this. Just go until it stops. Okay, so the easiest way to line it up is we're actually going to take off the second hose here. And uh, this is the hose that's going to be causing problems. We need to put it in the block while aligning everything else. So uh, um, we're going to play with this thing over here, this bracket here. So once it's lined up in the block, we're just going to push it, push the bracket in, make sure this uh, this piece is in the block, and then uh, we're going to move the whole cooler assembly a bit to the right so the bolts could line up, and make sure the this hose that it doesn't move. So we're going to be using this bracket here to help us out. Okay, so make sure it's sitting uh, flush like that and that at least uh, a few bolts are aligned. Now we're going to go ahead and put the second hose and then we're going to line up everything and then tighten everything up. Alright, now let's go ahead and line up these bolts. Make sure the bracket sits on the outside.
Okay, now let's line up the hose that goes under the thermostat. Okay, now let's go ahead and tighten the two hoses here with the E10 bolts. And then we're gonna go ahead and tighten the whole oil cooler assembly. Okay, now I'm going to go around with the ratchet and then just tighten them by hand. Alright, we're all done. Make sure everything's tight. Um, the hoses are all secured. And last thing, we're just going to go ahead and tighten this oil filter here. Okay, before we put the exhaust manifold, um, just go ahead and quickly uh, brush it with the uh, scotch brite and then we're gonna wipe it down with some brake cleaner. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put back the heat shield. Okay, now let's reconnect the O2 sensor. Okay, don't forget the coolant hose that was on the thermostat. All right, the final steps, we're gonna reattach the flex pipe and then we're gonna go ahead and fill up the coolant. Alright, and the final check, make sure your car is idling correctly and after a test drive you're staying at operating temperature and then you have uh, heat coming out of your vents. And don't forget to top off the coolant when you're done. And that's all it, we're all done. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.